Today, there's a lot of confusion over the potential risks we all face from NEOs. But is public awareness important? Should we be worried? Public awareness is critical, and we've come very, very far. Ten years ago, we were still talking about a giggle factor that this was not taken seriously. Now I think it is. Uh, but we still don't have a command and control system in place uh, to translate that public awareness into any sort of decision making. Like any risk, you want people to be educated. You want people to understand the nature of the risk. Um, what should we do about it? How active should we be? Um, it makes sense that the first thing we want to do is characterize the risk. And the best way to do that is observational. Do the surveys. Keep track of them. I don't think anyone should worry about asteroids, but we should be conscious of it. Because especially with the larger ones, it is the greatest potential long-term threat we know of. There's nothing else that could wipe out civilization or even humanity that we know about except an asteroid. No, we don't have to be so concerned. And as time goes on, we can become less and less concerned. We can sort of begin to put out of our minds the film Deep Impact now. Um, so we put out the film Armageddon um, that went ages ago, and now Deep Impact's also uh, on the way, which is good. Interestingly, it is about comparable to the risk in all but the Middle East of dying in a terrorist act. And so we worry a great deal about that. And so you can't just dismiss it and say, well, nobody worries about getting on a merry-go-round, yet people do die by falling off of them. I can't answer the question, should you worry or shouldn't you worry? It's up to you. But that's about what the risk is. It's in that range. The more we know about these and know where they are, uh, the, the less likely we are to get hit by one of them. And so uh, that's a very direct way of affecting how humans are, because if we do get hit by one, uh, that could really substantially change our way of life. And uh, that's something we have an opportunity to do something about now, whereas the dinosaurs did not. We, we simply don't want to go the way of the dinosaurs. How can students with an interest in NEO science and planetary defense get involved? We are organizing the first Future of Planetary Defense Conference in Bucharest, Romania, 2011. It will be basically a one-day conference before the second Planetary Defense Conference at the same venue and uh, it will be a panel of young experts and few senior experts that would be in charge of the one-day conference. So please get in touch with us and contribute to protecting the Earth. No human has ever visited a near-Earth asteroid or a comet, but it's possible that we one day will. Let's listen to what the experts think it might be like to stand on one. Uh, I think it'd be less dramatic than we would sort of imagine. Uh, less like the movies, more like a rough collection of rocks. Because in reality, it's probably formed uh, simply by spinning and held together a lot by spinning. So what looks like uh, one solid rock from a distance, when you get close up, in fact, will not be. It would be like standing on top of a mountain, but instead of seeing distant mountains or sea or wherever you are, you would just see dark space and stars. If you try to leave a footprint, it will probably just... Yeah, either you just like punch straight through, <laughs> or it depends on how hard you hit the asteroid. Interestingly, as we go to some very small sized in the 100 meter size range, some of them are spinning so rapidly that the centrifugal force of the spin, like riding a merry-go-round, is actually stronger than the gravity, and you would literally fly off the surface. It would be very hard to stand. You have to hold onto something because their gravity is much smaller. If, if you've seen movies of astronauts on, on the moon, they can jump very high because gravity on the moon is only one sixth of gravity on Earth. And it goes with the size of the object. So those people standing on asteroids, they could just do a little kick, even like they're trying to kick a soccer ball, and they could eject themselves off that object. So they have to hold really tight on it. We don't even talk about a spacecraft landing on any of We talk about docking because the gravity is so little. So, uh, you know, it would be kind of fun, I suppose. You could just float over it. No spacecraft has yet been sent to an NEO in the name of planetary defense, but several have been sent to conduct scientific studies. As it happens, NEOs can provide us with information about the solar system and possibly even the origins of life. NEOs are the leftover materials from the solar system. They're the, the things that the planets were made of. So they're very interesting to scientists. 
looking at the material of near-Earth asteroids, we can learn about what the, the Earth is either was made of originally or what, for example, old material in the center of the Earth would still be like today. One of their theories is that um, life may have originated on Mars and which an asteroid then impacted Mars and um, threw up a load of fragments which then traveled to Earth uh, in meteorites and then landed on the Earth and infected Earth with life. Um, it could have happened actually the other way around, that um, life began on the Earth, an asteroid smashed into the Earth and then transfers life to Mars. Mm -hmm.